G'day, 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 and welcome back to your daily dose of Karens, Kevins, and their crazy, no good, idiotic, silly public freakouts with your host, me, the Australian idiot who knows nothing about nothing, but still decides to say things in the first place, so let's get into the clips. In this clip, we've got a man in a mint drum suit at Target, getting involved in some fight or another, I'm not 100% sure of the details, because we don't really have any here, because we just have a random bystander who just witnessed it all, so here's a clip. Don't tell me what to do. Back no, up. you back up. Don't Yo, be running up on me like y'all finna do something to me. I'll sue the shit out of both. Sue you then. are young. Sue. You ain't hey, nobody. Sue. You ain't nobody. What the you talking about? I am somebody. You nobody. I'm somebody that's getting your face. You do what you do. Hey, get out your face. Hey, take the word this. Hey, back up. 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 So you say, what you say? say you're a bitch. You're a bitch. Your mom's a bitch. Go check and go say what you really want to say. Check what you really want to say. Get out of here. Yeah, don't tell me to get out of here. If he disrespected me, that's 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 live where I'm supposed to confront him. Y'all get at him like that, bro. You don't get at me. I'm right the customer. Right now, you're I'm not, the issue. No, he's the issue. He disrespected me. Hey, what? Hey, don't, 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 let me tell you something. Don't play hard, because he here. He yeah, telling you the right thing. No, Yo, your bitch. mama's a bitch. Yeah. Bitch ass. Yeah. What's wrong with you? Yeah, yeah it's uh, no, uh, you. Yeah, you. Sir, sir, yeah, you. Sir, bitch sir, ass. Sir. I got you. Okay. You. Okay, just stop over here. Weirdo. This all you got? This all you got? It's the police behind you. So you call me a bitch? Uh, I'm gonna shoot the shit out you like he's fired. He's fired. He's fired. He's fired. He's fired. Let's go talk over here, okay? I do wonder why a two minute clip was posted over five separate parts, but I also assume that's probably because TikTok is a bit aggressive when it comes to these type of clips. I've tried posting things on TikTok before, they take them down so damn quickly sometimes. Anyway, uh, to the employees there, I, I don't know if I would be willing to go to bat for your own company, especially when it looks like the guy's willing to throw punches and hurt you for some reason or another, considering, I don't know, they don't care about you, they're not going to... like. But at least from my experience with the jobs that I've worked at, they actively encourage you to not get involved in these type of things. Like, let's say you work at a fuel station. It literally tells you, cooperate with the robber and just do what they tell you to do very calmly and carefully. Into, and then once they leave, you finally call the cops. Don't get yourself hurt. We aren't liable if you get yourself hurt when you do something stupid or something along those lines. It's just, it's not worth it. Sometimes it's better just to move on and leave it be. Call the cops and let them handle it if they arrive in time. Here we return to Dollar Tree where we have an interesting situation that's going on where an old man is having difficulties using his card at the checkouts and the uh, employee here is not exactly being helpful about it. Only insert it right here. Listen, you got two seconds, you got two seconds to insert that card or I'm going to avoid the transaction and you're going to have to leave. I want to check you on my You must be quiet. No, you must do what I'm telling you to do. It won't yes, work. Yes, I want to, I want to check it on the page. You just did, it didn't work. You can't you swipe it, it's not that type of card. Have that card if you don't know how to use it. Dance to me. 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 And then when it doesn't do it, what are you gonna do? It's not, it's not going to do it. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. It's not going to do it. Okay, go ahead. What does it say? Insert the card. What I've been telling you to do for the last two, three minutes. If you'd have done it before, we would be done, you'd be gone. You want to check again? Really? Look, I understand the frustrations of some old people who just never grow to understand these type of things. No matter how many times you tell them this one thing, they'll never actually process it properly and do it correctly. But this is not how you react to that type of thing. Especially when you're at the cash register and the old person you're helping here is not related to you in any way, shape or form. This is not how you do this. 
I don't like saying people should get fired for things purely because I know what things are like right now in the world. But I hope you got some form of strong discipline for just how you treated that old guy for not being able to use a card correctly. Yes, he kept trying to swipe it when it wasn't a card that was going to swipe. But, you know, sometimes they just don't quite understand that. So you've got to actually do your best to calmly help them. Not yell at them. Yell and scream at them for doing it wrong. That's, not, that's never going to help the situation. This clip's an interesting one. So, according to the person behind the clip here, this red wagon was stolen out of their front yard earlier this day. And later on, they come across a person at the gas station who has this exact same red wagon. Which is weird, isn't it? Anyway, later on, they find the same person at, out the front of a Taco Bell. And so they decide to go up and take a good look at the red wagon, discovering something that proves that it's there. So I need you to get your stuff out right now. What do you mean? This is mine. This no, wagon. My, I... Yeah, okay. That's bullshit. My wagon just left and y'all be walking across stealing people's shit and I need um, you to take your stuff out immediately. No. You have literally 10 seconds. I don't care. No, this seconds. is mine. I actually bought this. Huh? No. Come this... here. Come here. No, Come this look. is mine. Yeah. She don't even want us to look. Please. What are you talking about? Look. Look at what? Hey! Look, hey, come on now. Yeah, this is ours. Yep, this is ours. How? No, it is not. Stop! Would you stop? Oh my god, are you fucking kidding? She stole my shit! I don't give it back! Okay, okay, you right. ask Sam. All you have to do is come and say that something. Was, uh, right. For what? She came to my property and took my stuff, so how about to come here? Say something if you want to. Okay, we'll, I'm gonna, I can call the police. You call the police, because she stole my shit. Okay, well, I can call the police. Call the police. Probably the one thing about this entire clip that I just want to say, uh, throwing shade at the Taco Bell manager for coming out trying to find out what in the world was happening out front of their store is a bit I don't think was necessary because I would get her position. Like she just sees outside of the door some a pair of people come up to this person sitting down at the table, rip, look at their wagon, then rip stuff out of their wagon, take the wagon and attempt to walk away. Of course you're going to be curious, what the hell's happening here? Are they just straight up robbing her or something? What in the world's going on here? So of course she's going to come out and go, what's happening? I'm going to call the police. Ultimately, according to a follow-up clip, the Taco Bell manager backed off and didn't get the police involved. And the reason why is because the red wagon had the daughter's name on it which is the reason why they knew it was hers. So, yeah. In this clip, we've got a very interesting thing going on here. So this manager, this is the manager we're talking to here with the detergent and things along those lines. And some weird, frustrating things have obviously occurred prior to this clip that I will honestly just let the manager explain herself. You guys come in here and you make me avoid transactions and then you're gonna go back there and do grab the exact same stuff that I have sitting right here. What did I tell you? Can you change the number? You told me you didn't want it. I so I it. avoided the transaction. I put the stuff over here and you didn't say another word to me. I so I am going to refuse this sale. Have a good day. Okay. okay. I wanna pay them. No, I not today. What is your name? My name's Tiffany and I'm the ASM of this store, so please leave. Okay, I'm because I'm not I'm not gonna do this okay. with you guys. You say I can record you? Please leave. That, that one is a store in Topeka, Indiana. The girl don't want to sell me the the thing because so she don't want to we use Yeah. Then when we start in the store, she's a very racist. You guys cannot You are very racist. Store. No, I'm not. You are very racist. I have Mexican People in my family and black people in my family. Yeah, but you are you too. So this is a very interesting one. From what I can gauge from reading some of the comments and other things with this clip, it seems like that this customer is trying to get the manager to change the price of the detergent based upon the price they saw elsewhere. Hence why they didn't want the initial transaction. And that's why you hear the customers say change i want you to change the numbers of is something to do with that here which is interesting to say the least to be completely honest 
From what I can gauge from this clip, it seems like the manager is mostly in the right here. She was calm and mostly professional about this situation. It was very was clearly frustrated to how the these people were choosing to deal with this by apparently having a transaction earlier, deciding that they don't want those items and getting her to avoid the transaction, only to get the same items again to go through a different transaction, which obviously at a certain point the manager is going like, okay, what are you doing? Because it's, like, it's one of those things where there's a lot of people who do shady things when checking out supermarkets and stuff like that, and they will do some really weird shenanigans to attempt to do something. Like, I don't get what they're trying to gain out of this, but usually if you point out the shady shenanigans they're doing, they will attempt to pull any form of victim card they can to make it seem like they're not really doing anything when they're very aware of what they're doing is kind of shady. This might be that here. I don't know. What are your thoughts in the comments down below? Here we have a Walmart employee who decides it's a great idea to stop a guy who's using a mobility scooter, who's brought some alcohol, yada, yada, yada. She decides to stop him because A, she doesn't think that she should be he should be using it at first, and then B, to check his age until he before he leaves with the alcohol, even though that he would have had his ID checked up at the counter when he brought the alcohol in the first place, but here's a clip. Talking and listen. I'm allowed to record whatever I want. No, you cannot. Yes, I can. I can record wherever I want. What are you talking about? Just stop. Why are you in the cart? Look at my knee, man. Okay, I, I explained to him. And it hurts. Okay. Are we supposed to give an explanation you, for why he's in the cart? Are you? Did you have somebody standing on the back of it? Okay, I didn't realize that, though. But okay. I paid for my stuff. When, when I don't steal. And when second of all, I wouldn't be on the car if I didn't need it. Okay. And I'm not doing anything. Where is your car? It's outside. Where? In the parking lot. That side or this side? I'm using the restroom, ma'am. Okay. I'll wait and I'll help you. Can I have my ID? Like, there's no need for you guys to do this, though. You realize this, this is, like, weird. Okay. Because Here's I paid for restroom. my things. No, I paid for my things. If these aren't able to be used by a person that... I'm not it makes no absolutely have I no sense. You from using it? You just told me. You just checked me, like if I'm I stealing did. these things I, and I paid, no, and I'm you checking, saw my ID. I'm checking your age. You think the man didn't check it when when I wrote? How would he have been able like, to it makes buy no them? Sense, man. Honestly, okay. if he wasn't 21, right there, and it needs okay. to be scanned. Yeah, so that was so unnecessary. I, yeah, you're just bothering me at this point. I have done nothing wrong. Will you call Coach Malik? Yeah, you should I call him actually. Anything. It makes no sense. Bro, just go. Let me know what your thoughts on this one are in the in the comments down below. I don't have much else to say. Here we have a fast food worker who may have potentially spat in the strings that they gave to a customer. This is Dunkin' service. Really? Hey, hey, hey this is white people. They this just spit? You can see it because they thought it was mine. No, no. You sound ignorant as Yeah, we pour it all in there. That's cool. We'll see how long you keep your job. Hey, you hear me? I don't care, girl. I'm balling. You think I care about this job? I'm here for You look like you're balling working at Dunkin' Donuts, I bro. Ball. I bet you do. Hey, you can re record this. I am. I got, I, it's all on here. Don't touch my car. Why don't you get back in the window, sir? Or what? What you gonna do? I'm gonna call the cops anyway. Call them. Yeah. I will. I'll let them know you spit my drink, and then this is the service that we get. You did not spit in your. I didn't even make the I drink. I took you a picture and a video of the drink. You, you white. You just like to fuck with black. And you're racist. You you're racist. You you're racist. Hey, I, got, I got so many employees in here. We didn't even spit on your drink. We got cameras. We didn't even. Really? Spit on the, the cops will look at them then. You That's fine. I like to pick with black people. That's all you. Is. You're racist. No, not you're not me. Racist. That, the, let me shut up. Exactly. Let you shut up. You know, this is the type of thing I'm thinking of what's going to happen with everyone who tends to abuse the fast food workers, especially the people who are handling your food. Do you Have you ever thought about that for just a few moments? I know a bunch of people who've watched the videos have definitely thought about it, but have you thought about the possibility that when you go off at the people who make your food, they may do something to potentially sabotage it just for the shots and giggles? Now, nine times out of ten will be something that will usually probably won't affect you in any way, shape, or form because, you know, everyone has the kind of understanding that if you get someone extremely sick or potentially harm someone by sabotaging their food, that's a lot of trouble for you, so you don't do that. You just do something little like spitting their drink or you 
put some hair in your f in the food you're giving them. Something very minimal that usually you wouldn't get too much shit for because it's something that can technically happen on accident. I still wouldn't do it, but you know, Sophia. Here we have a pair of kids who were roaming around a shopping store and were apparently witnessed by another employee potentially stealing something. So when they go to exit, the person at the front asks the security to come and help them search through their bags to see if they actually did any steal anything. Turns out, no, they did not, but doesn't matter. The mother's not happy anymore. She comes in and gives uh, the worker a, an earful. So, what happened in the store? What should have fired in the store? I want to hear it from you. Why did you call security on my son? What kind of behaviors were they showing that made you okay. think that they were okay. stealing? So, okay. you had to get, because you got security, correct, for my children. They were spending money. They don't come in here often. I sent them to the store. You told them that next time bring a parent with you. I didn't know this was Costco. I didn't know you needed a membership. I didn't know you needed, to, it was an 18 and over club. Okay? They were spending money, as children do. They were doing me, they were running an errand for me. What were they doing? The behaviors in the store That's that made the you call security. Thing you asked me yes. Before you okay. Yes. Yes. The yes. So now I want so to know why you call security on my what children. What the behaviors were is when he first came in. He came in. The bag was flat. He walked right over to the side over on there, unzipped the bag, and opened it. Headed down. Okay. Do you have that on security camera? No, can you show me that, that on that security camera? You because from my okay, okay, but from what yeah. my children told me, they didn't open no bag. Okay, well, do you have the behavior on the security cameras? Because I, I would like to see it, and I would also like corporate's number, Timothy. Yeah, okay, problem. Timothy, that's not fine. So, that's what you do? Um, I mean, I see crack kids.
as a grown ass man. Don't stop here. They raped, they raped and choked all my children. My children were not here. I know. I don't think there's really any easy situation around this. To be completely honest, if this per if these kids were caught potentially taking something they shouldn't, or they were opening and closing their bag, their school bags, or other bags they have that weren't for shopping whilst in the shopping center, I can understand why they would be their de bags would be searched. I guess it depends also if they actually have some form of written warning at the front of the store like hey by walking in the store you give us the ability to look at your bag on the way out i know that's a common thing over here and i'm pretty sure considering whole freedom america yada 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 you guys are probably going to be far more upset if people were to search your bags without any proper reason to it i don't know if this entire thing was potentially racial profiling it might have been who goddamn knows because we don't know how these kids were apparently caught out for possibly stealing in the first place what like what actually happened to get to that point but the way the mother chose to handle this was outright over the top i don't think it was exactly necessary to say the least maybe ask like hey could you just say sorry for doing that it's like kind of a bit of a traumatic experience for young people like it's probably not the greatest thing to do but i, I don't know i i yeah in this first clip we've got a racist kevin at starbucks come in Was trying to find out what was in the pink drink. This is just one of those clips that just makes me extremely disappointed in people. Like, why? What was the entire point of just being like that at all? Here we have an argument between someone who lives in what I'm assuming is some form of retirement slash support village, arguing with the employees of said village. Here's a clip. How about that? How about that? How about that? Every and every view you get on Facebook, nobody cares. Well, I put you on more than Facebook, honey. Oh, you want to bet? You do that, honey. You do that, sweetheart. And you'll hear what they say, because you're harassing me. No, you're harassing us. Oh, no. You call them. Why don't you call them? Why don't you call somebody to get you out of here? Call them. Oh, you can't. Call them. All right, I do. Call them. Oh, you ain't calling them. You ain't Good. permission. Good. Don't, don't even, don't. <laughs> no, I want her to. I want her to. She was warned about recording. Now I'm calling the cops on. Good, do that. I can't wait till they tell you. They're you're harassing me. Ain't nobody harassing, harassing yes, you. Yes, you are. And I'm allowed to do whatever I want as long as I'm right here, honey. As long as I'm right here. And I told you to stop and leave me alone. Yes, I ain't a police officer to a Oak Hill village in Middletown. The resident name is Tina Gonzalez. She is beautiful. What am I being? Nothing. Yeah, she may come in. I'm not doing nothing. She is harassing me. I'm in my own room. I'm not 100% sure how to really think about this one because I'm not really knowledgeable in how retirement slash support villages work in America as a whole. But from what I can gather from the comments that were associated on the TikTok for this clip is that most people were on the side of the person who was recording because they thought that the employees here were way out of line with how they were choosing to act, especially attempting to get police involved for this unfolding situation. I don't know. I think it's just one of those things where it's very, very interesting. And I also don't know how appropriate it is, it is to film inside one of these buildings in the first place, depending on various other issues. I don't know. It seems whack. Here we have a family who gets caught skipping the entire line at this water park, and they get a bit of karma for it. Oh, 
todo mi odio. I don't know what language is being spoken by most of the people in this clip, and I'm not going to assume because, again, I just don't know. But I would assume that the family who's now been pulled off this ride would not only just be super annoyed at this entire mess, but there'd be this whole level of embarrassment of all these people up there chanting for you to, I assume, chanting for you to be removed or something on those lines, basically adding on to the sheer embarrassment of being caught doing something this stupid stupid and then having everyone around you chant for your demise effectively it's hilarious it's amazing it, either way that situation could have been handled so much better by andrew by the other home depot worker that's there it involves various other people because you know customers aren't saints in this next clip we've got a guy who's not happy with pest control coming through give me your business card i don't have one what are you doing here without a business card i'm just taking care of people's bugs sir what do you mean bugs Spiders, ants, roaches. What, what company are you with? Hawks. Hawks? Yeah. Why don't you have a business card? Because I'm just a route manager out Get here. Get the f out of this neighborhood, Why? dude. You don't have, we don't, you, you're not allowed to just walk around people's private property. You're not allowed to. You don't have an appointment. I don't know why you're so angry, sir. I wish I could help you out. I'm trying to get this guy out of the neighborhood. He's driving everybody crazy. You're the only person, all of your neighbors were really nice. You're the only one that's acted like this. Back up. You interrupted my business. Back I'm sorry. Up. You're not sorry. You didn't even answer the door. Sure. You've been cussing at me, using God's name in vain. I don't know who's a jerk here. It's not against the law to cuss. You're right. It's not against the, the law to knock on the door. Yeah, it is. There's no soliciting signs all over. Look. You, you don't even have a business card. You probably need to go to church, sir. You know what? Can you just take it on out of You're my I'm sorry. Prison. I was just coming to talk to you about You're the bugs. I don't understand why he's... Man, this guy just likes his bugs. It's just like this guy's coming in to do some pest control work. You know, the fun stuff. Burning those bugs alive. And this guy's just coming through having a bad day. Losing his shit at this guy. Because he doesn't have a business card. A uh, 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 business... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's about as ridiculous as it sounds. Uh, yeah, I, I got none near. Next up, we have the most interesting interaction at Waffle House. Actually, that doesn't even give you much of a statement. You understand that anything at a Waffle House can go to absolute crazy levels of stupidity very quickly. So, uh, enjoy. I didn't, I didn't say anything to you. I just looked at you. Are you, are you, are you okay? Sir, you actually said, are you tweaking? So, you know try me if you want, Okay, ma'am, I'm going to have to tell you that I'm going to give you a refund. Alright, well, give me my refund. I will give you a refund. Alright, do that. And after that, you're not coming back. That's fine. Check it. Mark my name down. That won't work here. Excuse me. That won't work here. Oh, that won't work here. You mean you don't want to burn my name down? Make sure I'm calm back? Yeah. I'm afraid I know who you are, so you're not coming back. Alright, write it down. You're not going to stop my cousin. All right, give me my money. Give me my money. Don't touch my phone. Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't touch my phone. Now, bitch, tell me. Yeah! Lord Jesus. 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 Lord Jesus
You know, here I was thinking this was going to be all about just that one person who's just being a bit of an asshole towards their workers there. Seems to be a little off there. Minata might be drunk, might be high, might be a mixture of the both. And then all of a sudden a fight breaks out in the background. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> like, it's obviously something no one expected to happen because the camera person was too focused on the other woman, the one that started this mess, and then it's like, wait, hold on, there's a fight going on. Wait, I should, I should film that. That's also very awesome stuff to film. Like, it's just the wow. <laughs> Waffle House, man. They, they seem to, people get down some crazy shit down there. It's pretty good. Every time you get your food, you also get some live entertainment. It's brilliant. In sex clip, a couple got caught attempting to yoink a bunch of stuff from someone else's floating platoon because no one was there and no one apparently owned it because they thought it was abandoned. Stand it the f over right now, or we can get down right here. No, so just give us the raft right and the anchor. Relax, we didn't know it was yours, dude. Well, it oh, wasn't really? the f yeah, yours. yours. We asked everybody around there oh, who it belonged no, to. Oh, yeah, right. right. Who did it belong to, okay? So why we no, you didn't. Because we, they said they didn't belong to anybody yeah. else. Honey, you got yeah. to abandon. Relax. Hold it. Hold on. Hold on. You guys keep gaming yourself. Seriously, we thought it was abandoned. Bullshit. Those people even told me that's not your stuff. We asked everybody no, there. Yes. No, you didn't. Honey, get me off that boat right there. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hand me that rope. Thought you came up, huh? If that's what we were trying to do, we wouldn't be trying to be civil right now. You don't whatever. take stuff that don't belong to you. Didn't your parents teach you that sh? If it don't belong to you, you don't take it. I want the goddamn beer. Oh, you've been drinking my beer too. I want my Yeti. There's no freaking beer in there. Relax. I'm a cop, okay? I don't, oh, you're a cop? Oh, well, I'm better. definitely oh, reporting your ass. What's good. your badge good. number? Good. Even better. Me. Where at? No, I don't really care. Report okay. Me. We know cops too, okay? There ain't a cop I know that would even condone the okay. that you guys just pulled well, we up. We asked everybody that was around and they said it didn't belong That's to bullsh any That's oh. bullshit. Is that the Yeti? Okay. Well, they were right. It didn't want to talk to us. So Sheriff will be looking for your ass. I hope you're drunk and you get a DUI too. Mrs. I'm a cop. Lying. Liars. Now they weren't doing any of the goodness of their heart. Like, if you're thinking that someone abandoned something here, it's like, I'm sorry. I didn't know. I thought it was a band. I was going to take it to shore so it wasn't sitting out here floating around doing other things. But it's just like, no, I was going to take it for myself because no one was here to claim it. Because now it's mine. You see, I see it. There's no one else around here. Means it must be abandoned and now it's mine. Like, what stupid logic is that? And, and then, of course, once people start pointing that out to you, you just have to say, oh yeah, I'm a cop. It's like, that's not going to help your argument. Heck, it might make it ten times worse. Because of the simple understanding, you're meant to be a police officer, you should know that doing this type of thing is kind of wrong and you shouldn't do it in the first place, but sure, go ahead, do it. <laughs>